It's the best drum room I've ever recorded in. Just such a crack, huge, expansive reverb. It's coming out better than uh, you know I ever could have hoped. I, was, I met Matthias in um, last year and it's taken nine months to, um, to put together this project. We met over a curry and then we started talking about this project and we said that yeah sure let's do something. So Colin and me scoured the internet for different drum rooms, you know, places we've worked before and, and one day Colin phoned me and he said I've just remembered the studio in Belgium. And I, I always was looking for an opportunity to come back to the studio and when Matthias said, you know, just find a studio anywhere in the world, which is, oh, thank you, Matthias. <laughs> so he said that I want to be at Galaxy, and so we booked the studio. I've never been here, and now when I'm here, it's just amazing. I've never been in a studio like Galaxy. Um, this is as good as it gets. It's a super deluxe studio. It's the biggest room I've ever been in, and it's the best sounding drum room I've ever heard. The first time I heard the drums in the room, it's, it was uh, magic because you could hear every, every beat of the drum and all the frequencies and everything was really coming alive in this room in a way that I've never heard before. Uh, and it, it's just the biggest snare sound I've heard ever. It's massive. Just such a crack, huge, expansive reverb. It's the best drum room I've ever recorded in. When we got here, we had uh, a lot of gear. We, we've really picked the best of a, a load of kits, and um, these are basically a DW kit, a Mapex kit, a Tama kit, and a Truth kit. And snare drums. You know, they're incredible. There's this. Uh, one snare drum that's made out of seamless steel. This is the loudest snare drum I've ever heard. Uh, we got 130 d dB out of it, which is like a jet, a jet plane. <laughs> uh, in terms of cymbals, we're using Peisty cymbals, Zildjian cymbals and Sabian cymbals. And when it came down to cymbals, we were very specific that we wanted a lot of cymbals to choose from. So we got them all on stands and we've gone through them all one by one. Now, what was interesting when we were going through all the cymbals in the room, it was it was definitely, everyone was on the same page. We were thinking, you know, there'd be like a big pile of maybes and some pile of like, you know, definitely nots, but it was instant. We were all that one. With the recording, we've gone all out with microphones. We've, we've put everything we can into different mic positioning. We're using about 30 mics to capture uh, the drum kit. There's maybe 20 on close mics and 10 in the room. Lots of different room mics, obviously, because the room is, is so, it's got such amazing ambience. Um, I think we've probably got something like between 1.5, two second reverb on the room. Massive bangy snares, very cool. I think these drums are going to be good for everybody. You can use these samples to beef up your mix already, your drums, or you know, they're a great tool for creating drum tracks for a pro mix. You're going to have Colin Richardson drums in your own home. You know, you're going to be able to sit and just have awesome kick drums, awesome snares, cymbals that just, just sing. Uh, the reason I work with these guys and this equipment and this studio is because uh, we always do that. We always try to work with the best guys in the industry, the best gear in the industry, the best studios in the industry, whatever is needed to get the best drum sound. And the reason, you know, why we're here 
is because this is one of those amazing studios. I had high hopes for the project to start with and the sound of the drums and the sound of the room is coming out better than uh, you know I ever could have hoped. So by the time the product comes out for Toontrack, I'm, I'm hoping everybody's gonna love the drum sounds. I do anyway.